Good morning, YouTubers. I've been studying. I wish I could zoom while I'm filming, but here's the thing. I've been studying. I got my LLC because, as you know, I'm trying to get into real estate. I want to be secure in the future. Everybody knows what an LLC is. But now I've got the TikTok video. What a wealth of information in one minute. People are sharing. So I'm doing the same. I'm sharing what I learned. So I'm going to turn my... I think I'm going to turn my LLC into an S-Corp, and I definitely want your opinion down in the comments. And here in front of you is why I believe I need to be an S-Corp. For example, I own this house. I'm getting ready to lease to own, rent to own. Um, I'm going to have that income coming in. Do I have to claim that income as income? So I just kind of put it together like this. This $600 a month, abbreviated wrong, but the point is, I didn't take these notes for, for YouTube. I just took them for me real quick while I was watching one-minute videos. So uh, I'm making 600 a month off of this house, um, starting hopefully in May. Okay, 600 times 8 months, because May to December, that'll be $4,800 that I make by the end of this year. Um being that I'll be an S Corp by then, I have to divide that 4800 into this and this. This is the 30% income that I have to get um, uh, taxed on. So 40% of 4800 is $1,440. i will get taxed on that. Because I'm an S Corp, that's all I get taxed on. And we'll call that, spelled wrong, <laughs> earned income. <laughs> And that's my salary. That 30% is taxed at 15% as self-employment tax. So simple to understand. The rest of the money, 3360, the 70% left over will become um, what they call it ordinary income. So after ordinary income, and after S Corp distributions, which I have to learn well, what is that? It's 0% taxed. This passed through to my tax return, which again, what is that return to me? Again, where I've already earned it and then it comes back double that in my tax return. This passes through to my tax return. I don't know. But just because of this, I think I need to open a S Corp. So yeah, I'm going to study up on that real quick. Wow, what a chore. It's done. Got the floor in. It's ready to put that toilet in. The floor is done. But I'll do the molding first around the wall. Got to still caulk the window. The window's uh, held up just fine. The tape held it in place. So uh, that's a good thing. So now it's baseboards and quarter round and a caulket window. Get a wax ring for the toilet. Get those two little beauty things, you know, because I forgot to put them on before I glued them a few episodes ago. So uh, they've got some little, uh, somehow they, they break and you twist them around the pipe and then I guess they're good. So, uh, that's that. So, wow, this floor is perfect. I mean, it's done. It's no, uh, no different than anything. Um, no different than if a professional would have done it. Boy, that looks like a, a mess up right there, the way dark, 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 and this because that is a corner. That's how you know if this stuff's put together right. You're not supposed to see the seams. You can barely see that seam if it wasn't for the color. That one, you can't see the seam. Well, it is the way it is. It's supposed to be randomly installed like this one. Random. So, uh, done deal. Floor's done.